Uh, we are trying to get this raw file to look like his edited one. So, so we're making this photo look like this photo from one of my favorite photographers. I'll show you all the settings. We've got the raw image, which is super good. And I'm just going to teach you guys the process of recreating it. So you can like learn. Um, there's so much about color that you've got to understand to pull off styles in general or to have your own style. I'll just let you know that there is some settings already done just for the convenience. So uh, we have just a few filters here. I'll cover these all shortly. So maybe the first thing to understand is just what his style is about. So it's about low contrast, matted, underexposed, very cinematic. So low contrast, underexposed, bring the whites down. Let's bring the highlights down to flatten everything. We will fine tune these a bit later, but if you just want the settings, link down in the description um, we're going to raise the blacks again just flattening the image but we'll come in with curves because curves is where you get really really unique styles to your images so i like to focus on the curves uh, we want a pop we want to bring down all the mids again this is going to create um, the cinematic underexposed kind of look and then in this curve, we've gone for a curve like this. We want a little bit of fade to the darkest areas, just a little bit. We don't want it to the black blacks. Um, we just touch of a drop to those whites. I've got full trainings on curves, so we're not getting into how exactly they work. The mids for the green, adding that little bit of green that he has through his whole image. Um, this bit here, you can see what it does to the skin tone. We're bringing in those purples to balance those greens in the mids. Uh, really helps with skin tones and keeping your blacks kind of black, not letting them get too much of a crazy um, color. Uh, keeps them rich as well. Mids for a bit of a glow throughout the highlights mids sort of area. Okay, so now that's like the important curve adjustments. Editing is all about bouncing around to different uh, tools. Um, let's expose more. I'm going to just push a bit towards the purples. There's probably a pretty big green cast throughout the image. He's shot with a good white balance of 5600. It's daylight, bang on daylight. He goes for a soft looking image, so clarity down this is just style preference i think it helps with cinematic styles get rid of that digital look a lot of photos have okay vibrance uh cinematic could be vibrance down but honestly i'm just gonna go for something like this i think going quite desaturated helps with the cinematic look um, touch more shadows looking pretty good let's do some split turning so split turning i think is the um, where he gets his colors the most so obviously those green tones we want the green tones he always focuses on the whatever the main color is in the photo he tries to bring that out with his editing so green in the shadows and then in the highlights just a cool blue now we've got this nice greenish blue going on and then the purple we added down here so we pulled out green so this helps us add green but not get too much green like in the blacks and stuff so again that's another reason to do that uh we're gonna be looking at skin tone playing with the reds and oranges okay so there is no reds there's very little red so what i'm just gonna come do come do is just shift i'm gonna shift the primary over to here and that massively helps with um, skin tone. Again, pulling out those greens that we added in. We want greens, but we just don't want, we want to keep them in the mid-tones. That's what's going to look way more natural. Okay, and then our skin tones look pretty sweet after that. You could play with this. Do we want to touch more oranges? Yeah. The greens, I'm going to go towards this bluish color. And then um, subtracting colors is actually, it, it's really surprising. Like this just, it takes a lot of practice to go, to know like to when to subtract a color. Um, yep, let's make skin tones pop. And then up, give a shine. Give a glow to the yellows. Pop 
pot you can see what that does and then deepen the greens yeah I'm gonna go for the deeper look and up okay um, as for sharpening keep 40 I'm not gonna do profile corrections I think he has a slight vignette around his image uh, green I'm gonna go dirty I'm gonna keep the size down and roughness up I think that's just the type of green he goes for okay and then I didn't show you the filters I've already done so all that I'm doing here is just very slightly bringing out the subject um, I think we could maybe highlights down a touch just to keep not those whites from really blowing out I think almost we blew them out I'll just do that it's very very subtle and then there's just the sky as well so I wanted to so if we just delete I wanted to just add a little bit of pop to the sky we could definitely do without it but here's the filters off and on I just put a very slight pop while keeping the whole image kind of smooth underexposed cinematic but then just the subject the sky just put a bit of pop um, and then it's time for the reset before and after he very clearly has his own style so this is very stylized his look or yeah um, so there's no super wrong or right way to do it there's very common rules that you have to follow to keep colors looking natural to manipulate colors that we do go over um, within the course and stuff like that but yeah you really have to understand color to pull off his edit